Good morning, everyone. Happy 2022. For New Year's, Grant and I got this much snow. Yep, that's it. So uh, not quite enough to do literally anything with, and it'll probably be melted by the end of today. Uh, but we did get a little bit of snow. It is, however, very cold outside. I want to say about seven degrees, but I think we have a chance of snow again on Wednesday. So I'm hoping for more snow then. Grant already turned the light switch on. <laughs> Good morning, Grant. Are you excited for the new year? I am excited for the new year. It's going to be a good year. I can oh, yeah. feel it. Gotcha. Especially because it's starting out with my baby. Uh, this is the car I bought last year now, I guess, which is crazy. But I didn't buy it very long ago. And I was pretty okay with it being stock. However, Grant suggested there's a few key upgrades we do to it. And since it's winter time and not much is going on on the farm, now is a perfect time to be doing that. So the first step is happening today and that is going to be getting the car ceramic coated. I'm pretty pumped for that. Uh, and then after that, I would like to get the windows tinted and Grant, what are some things? Well, Grant wanted to put a hitch on it so I could pull trailers with it. Which I, oh my goodness, I think that would be so silly looking. Going down the interstate with this thing pulling a trailer. I have a little little dirt bike trailer, it'd be perfect. I don't know about that. <laughs> but maybe some kind of like, what do you, a wide body kit perhaps? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We're going to start with the ceramic coating. Um, the sound... The <laughs> well, see, I want to put it like... A more horsepower wide body kit, you, but you might as well go buy it. We helmet. may as well just buy a new car at that point. So we're just gonna start, we're gonna start small here. Speaking of rims and tires, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably asked me a question on video, but what did Laura do to the tractor tire? Oh, yeah, so rims and tires. Well, the first rim and tire thing, this is this is Grant's baby. He got, you know, as everyone has seen, new tires, new rims on his truck. Those look awesome. We did a thousand mile round trip to Arkansas with the trailer. And they held it, up awesome. Just, We're looking at that. It snowed, didn't get stuck. This is your first hit. This is supposed to be a square box. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be a box, it too. It used to be a box. Okay. <laughs> Come over here. Man, McDonald's drive through curves are hard on that thing, huh? <laughs> I don't think there's uh, any bending that one out. Look at it in there. It's bent all the way in. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's tacoed for sure. Oops. All right, so I didn't really do that. Actually, Grant's dad. But <laughs> that's yeah. what happens when you have a leaky tire on a side hill. Yeah, so the tire had been going flat, so he aired it up and was out using it. I guess it went flat, but he was scraping, and so he's like working on it in a ditch, and so a lot of pressure was on that corner, and just, he drove around all day, had no idea, so I'm glad it wasn't me, because he'd, be, he'd be upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, new rim is in order for the A345R. And we're also going to get a tractor ceramic coat. Which one should we have done? The 8345? We're, we're trying to debate between that one and the loader tractor. So My this, vote's on that one. I think it would look so nice, but Grant wants to get the loader See, tractor. that's the one my dad always drives. He doesn't care about that stuff. <laughs> we do the 8335. Okay. That's the one I usually drive. Okay. And the loader right. tractor. But the loader tractor looks terrible right now. We might have to fix that. And I want to do LED lights on the loader tractor, too. Grant and I are still slowly but surely working through our pallet of northern chill water. That thing used to be about another three cases high. We're slowly working through it. If you're looking for industrial-sized pallets of water bottles, check out northern chill. <laughs> well, 
for a geo tracker motor. <laughs> or if you need a geo tracker motor, <laughs> hit Grant and I up. Hi, I'm Garrett. Uh, Garrett Poppin. This is Gray and Ludicky. Uh, we started a uh, basically a detailing but a ceramic business. Uh, we usually do restoration work, um, but this product we kind of walked into it and uh, we ended up getting more business doing this than what we do mainly in our other days. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's a pretty cool product. Basically what we do is we'll deep clean the car, uh, we come back through, we buff, polish, um, alcohol, rinse it, um, depending on how bad it is, but get it looking brand new again, and then we coat it in our ceramic coatings. Uh, guaranteed, our top package is guaranteed six years. Uh, that's on tractors, cars, pickups, everything. Everything has wheels. So. <laughs> but that's awesome. Yeah. This is who did the old green truck, and you can see, I mean, are you kidding me? It's so shiny and beautiful. So, first step is the car, and then we'll move on to the tractors. All right, so while the ceramic coating is being done, they're working on the car right now, Grant and I are going to get the semi truck out, hopefully it starts, and haul some corn into town. We're in the nice big storage building here. We got the freight liner. Grant has expertly backed these trucks in here, so everything fits just right. They're pretty much flush with the grain cart back there. I hope it starts. We're gonna give it its best shot here. Just a little go-go juice, just in case. Walking around in this building makes me nervous because I know there's little mice hiding around every little corner. All right, I'm ready, Grant. Beautiful. Never doubted the Freightliner. For some reason, the truck is making kind of a weird noise. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It sounds like it's sneezing. It's coughing. That doesn't sound good. It's not building any air pressure. So far, our best solution for any farm fixes, turn it off and turn it back on. So we're gonna see if that does anything. Ooh, yeah, okay, that didn't fix it. It's like the air compressor isn't working right. Nice rope. This is one of those ropes that uses kinetic energy to get things unstuck. Unfortunately, we've had to use it a lot. <laughs> Do you guys think Grant will remember that the traps are open before he starts filling the trailer with corn? I'm not gonna remind him. Let's see if he does. You're welcome. I would have forgotten. Yeah, I was very kind and I reminded Grant that he needed to close the traps only because I know that if you would have spilled, I probably would have had to clean it up too. Oh, it's Betty. <gasps> hey Betty, come here. Oh, nope, Never mind. Good job, Grant. I don't think this ladder is OSHA approved. <laughs> cool, 
All right, Grant is going to back up and we're gonna line it over that first little gate up there. I'm gonna tell him when to stop. And then all we have to do is turn those little thingies or <laughs> pull down on the pulleys and then corn will start coming out. Now I just tarp it up and take it into town. What a good truck driver. I got a swingy pedal. <laughs> All right, made it to ethanol plant. Grant, explain what is happening right now. Uh, so they're gonna dip my trailer take a small sample, like a handful of corn, and test it to see what I have in the back, uh, like moisture, FM, just how what quality of grain it is, so that they can, uh, it's easy. <laughs> and then this little probe goes in the back, takes the sample, And then we can, uh, we need to get in line, but then we'll dump it in either bay one, two, or three. So after we know how good the corn is, I'm assuming it's gonna be awesome because it's Grant, Grant's corn. Then that's when they'll tell us what bay we need to go into. So the quality of corn is telling us where we're going to dump our corn. All right, now that we have been probed, we're on a scale and it's telling us how much we weigh. Oh, I did a nice job loading. You're welcome. Almost 80,000 pounds exactly, which correct me if I'm wrong, is exactly the legal limit. It's, money, dude. it's perfect. We're headed into bay number one, which I don't know if it actually means this, but I'm going to take it as it's corn. number one corn. <laughs> Now we're over the pit, going to open the traps, unload the corn, pull out. Simple as that. I really hope these doors are motion detective sensitive sensors. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. And now just back to the farm as many times as it takes to empty all the corn out of that bin. Simple as that. How much corn did you grow? How much corn did I grow? I believe, well, just yellow corn last year I produced 20,000 bushels. So that's pretty much 20,000 big, big truckloads. No. Uh, no, that is not true. That is not 20,000 big truckloads. That's not correct. That's, that's like 20,000 armloads. <laughs> yeah, it's like 20,000 armloads. I believe what Grant meant to say is 20 full truckloads. You haul in approximately a thousand bushels of corn per truck. It's been a few years since I went to high school. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was about a thousand bushels. <laughs> how many well, bushels? We'll, of, we'll how see. many? Well, yeah. I guess we'll. I guess we'll see how many bush, bushels we hauled in here. It's usually like nine hundred so. How many bushels of corn did you grow last year, Grant? 
What? So you made me reveal all my information <laughs> to the internet and you won't say your number? Oh my goodness. We got 977. 977 bushels. All right. He still won't tell me how many bushels of corn he grew this well, year. I'm still figuring it out. So I don't have my corn. Okay. All right. fully washed this thing hasn't been this clean in years so I still got to uh, buff it coat it and all that stuff but she'll be looking like a new tractor here pretty soon Check that out. Oh, I can even see myself in the reflection. It's beautiful. What do you think? Did you buy a new tractor? I mean, that's what it looks like, honestly. It's pretty impressive. You can use the whole thing as a mirror. Seriously, that's my favorite part. Yeah, here, the whole tractor looked pretty much like that. Perfect. Looks brand new. I am so, so impressed. They did an awesome job. I will put Garrett's phone number in the description. If you need anything from cars to tractors to old vehicles, literally anything. Oh my goodness. Look at the comparison from the loader tractor to even the 8345R. Holy cow. I if, think it looks like a turd. I know, especially with the bent front box. Yikes. Anyways, please contact him if you want anything done. They are so professional and I mean, my goodness. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Excellent day. I feel for a winter day, this was about as productive as it gets, <laughs> quite frankly. Well, got the truck started and moving. That was an adventure. But that was a thing. Also born, got this thing here, got the car done. Overall, excellent, excellent day. Call Garrett, Central Nebraska <laughs> area. We can hook you up. We'll see you guys later. Happy New Year, everybody.